the Rhode Island State House, House lawmakers are voting on the state's budget for the next fiscal year. The nearly $10 billion budget includes an increase in funding for education and more medical marijuana dispensaries. Iowa News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live from the State House with what is and isn't included in the budget. Steph? Well, the floor debate on this nearly $10 billion budget started around 5 p.m., about three hours later than it was scheduled to begin. Now, one thing we know will not be in this budget by the time it passes tonight is a controversial $1 million grant to a Cranston chiropractor, Dr. Victor Pedro, whose cortical integrative therapy treatment is unsanctioned by the feds and the state. As we've been reporting, Governor Gina Raimondo proposed to remove taxpayer funding to this doctor, but House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello put it back in the budget. After questions were raised, he announced yesterday he would yank the funding and give it instead to direct care workers who work with people with disabilities. At the start of this floor debate about an hour ago, Finance Chairman Marvin Abney, Abney gave an overview of what's in the budget, including investments in education. These investments include $1.2 billion in support for our public schools to educate our children, increasing specialty support for English language learners and expanding our commitment to make quality pre-K slots available for children and families who need it. And as always, we are expecting pushback from Republicans and others who plan to offer amendments to the budget during this debate. We're told more than 60 amendments have been drafted, although typically they are not all offered on the floor. But for example, we know one representative is planning to introduce an amendment to restore funding to the Nonviolence Institute. As we reported, that organization was cut out of the budget proposal this year. We will be here as long as it takes. The House is expected to vote on this plan by the end of the night. Live at the State House, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Thank you.